chance, get out of there, we're gonna spoil us. Spoil us chance. Ain't any chance. Plymouth! Purchased legally for quite a bit of money. It's time to go back to playing an RPG. Skies of Arcadia Legends on the GameCube, we're continuing the Vice the Legend playthrough that we took a break from over a year ago. Still with Wave Bird, of course. I'm just gonna turn it off to conserve battery. Spoilers in a stream. <laughs> so you may remember we're playing this with a widescreen hack. Which is gonna have some positive and negative effects. Playing Dark Cloud right now. I have Dark Cloud. I have it on PS4 and Dark Chronicle. Throbbing Cherry. Be careful not to plop it. Here it goes. Is well support an awesome dude. So you watching another stream as well as mine then? For shame, chance. For shame. So I was saying to Klim recently, like, I've missed playing RPGs. And like outside of streaming, I've not really been playing any RPGs. I've played Chrono Trigger and that was kind of it. Like since the last RPG we streamed. Hit support vice, you bastard. Yeah, I think I'm a little further than you, or a little behind you, I forget. So how are you guys doing? I don't know why I have a save here. That's a complete save. Why is it whenever I start stream, Clem, you're always about to go and do something? Every time. I'm beginning to think it's a conspiracy. Get your COVID booster, you're not feeling too bad yet? Don't worry, by the end of this, you'll feel terrible. Okay, so... I have the FAQ once again. Uh, there are three chests. In Yafutoma. We are still doing the Vice the Legend playthrough. It's a bed. Yes. That's why Klim is a hazard. Three chests. I forget if I got them. Slightly past where you stopped. That's fair, I don't remember if you got to Yafutoma. This game is really nice in widescreen. Oh, you went and you hadn't entered Dark Rift. That's fair. Um, Moonfit. So there are three chests. 
remove it. one here and there's one in the next one. <coughs> there. Greetings. I'm barely showing any more skin than you are. It's really just Ica. <coughs> yeah, so this is under the blue moon, so it's the water powered land. So, of course, the sacrifice of the wave bird is there's no rumble feature. Hmm. <coughs> Skies of Arcadia is not too bad with that. The main thing we're going to miss out on is rumbling when we're near a moonfish. Which is a little irritating, but we can deal with it. And the cupel shards. The cupel shards probably the worst part, actually. You like this bird. This was a mistake. <coughs> oh, I absolutely get that chance. Like I say, I was uh, saying to Clem in his stream, it's been ages since I've really sat down with an RPG and I miss them. Where's my actual cube control? There you are. Yeah, considering this is a 100% playthrough, so we're going to need to get all the cupel shards and the moonfish. Like, the vibration alert is too important. Shame. The bird is convenient. <clears throat> Outside of Streamlab much done with Chrono Trigger. So I've started Persona 2 Innocent Sin again. See so if we can actually get through it this time. In the PS1 version.
Well, it's a thing that people have said about Skies of Arcadia for a very long time, like, even at the time when it was contemporary. Um, Skies of Arcadia doesn't really do anything new. But what it does, it does very well. Hey, Teak. There's a headband or blindfold over the eyes. Not yet. Maybe later. Is there a game I could do blindfolded? Probably not, but like the closest to probably be Symphia. Right? <coughs> I know enough of that. Like, the timing on specific jumps would throw me off. Don't mind me, I'm just wiping down my uh, GameCube controller. Come on. Gaming more blindfolded. For specific games, maybe. No, not, not stuff like this. The way my setup is now, I could probably do with a GameCube controller with a shorter wire. Which I do have. It's my original GameCube controller, but I don't know where that is. In one of the boxes. Wave bird receiver. In case anybody forgot, it's the uh, Smash game controller I have. Have I ever used it to play Smash? A little bit. Have I ever used it to play Smash 4? Because this is one of those ones that Nintendo released for Smash 4. Um, <clears throat> have I ever used it to play Smash 4? No. I've used it to play a bit of Melee. But that's just because I was playing GameCube. It's like you got. I'm all around that. Like Nintendo re released GameCube controllers twice. There's the ones with the flame smash emblem. That and the ones with the stenciled outline. <clears throat> and like that one I think looks less interesting, less appealing. But they're just they're just GameCube controllers with GameCube controllers like plugs. So I got one, it was like 20 quid. And I plugged it into my GameCube and just use it as a GameCube controller. It's fantastic. Alright, let me make sure that vibration is on. Excellent.
But essentially, they're the same thing. Um, the Smash controllers have a longer cable. Like, way longer. It's probably like three times the length on the cable. Uh, the design on the controller is just different. Like a standard, like original GameCube controller says Nintendo GameCube on it, instead of the Smash emblem. There we go. Alright, let's continue. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean, though, Chance. Like, games of this era just had something about them. And it's like, as much as I love the, um... Yeah, it's like a, a stenciled outline, just like a flat Smash logo. It's visually less interesting. <coughs> Yeah, like, as much as I like going back to, like, PlayStation era JRPGs, and, to some extent, 16-bit. Like, PS2 GameCube era ones, just, there's something about them that's a little more... Hmm. Hmm. <coughs> oh, I've got the, I've got the Wavebird. Well, I have the actual box for the Wavebird, which is nice. Um... I think any of these controllers go for quite a bit. It's wired. This is wired. Uh, the Wii to... Uh, the Wii U to GameCube adapter? Like, you can just pick those up. Um, mine's not a Nintendo one. I think this one's, like, made for PC by whoever. But, like, it fits into the Wii U. It's just USB. PS2 GameCube Dreamcast, yeah. At some point, I will have to do Grandia so I can get to Grandia 2. Wavebird's pretty cool. Like, it's really nice. And, like, there's no recognizable latency on it, which is nice. I think one of the best things about the wave bird though is like there's a switch to turn it off right here. It's like just off and then turn it back on, it immediately reconnects. So it's great for saving battery life. And I just have a couple of rechargeables in there. Yeah, I think that'll do. <clears throat> yeah, it's a nice, nice controller. But like, it didn't hit me until we started playing this and we got to like the charm. Like, the rumble is too important for this run. <clears throat> I 
Hello. With how cheap these are, I should own more of them. <coughs> I should absolutely own more of these. There we go. I ain't playing that shit anymore. Yeah, um... Looking at the schedule for the RPGs we've got coming out. <coughs> After this, we're going on some more modern stuff for quite a while. Uh, Tokyo Xanadu X Plus, which is a PS Vita action RPG that's been enhanced for PS4. Uh, then it's Resonance of Fate, which is a PS3 game. I think Crisis Core might be after that. So it's going to be a while before we come back to this era of JRPGs. Like, stuff like this, PS2, SMT games. Final Fantasy X. Final Fantasy X, I think, is a good example. Beyond that, just like, this era of gaming in general is so good. That's a JPEG. Like, that's a flat rotating JPEG. Picturesque. <clears throat> uh, Christ Call Remaster. Ov overall, I'm not all that bothered about it. We're going to be doing the original, mostly because it's been on the backlog for a while. And I don't feel like buying a new version. Them redoing all the dubbing is interesting. Curious idea. People can admire and our beautiful picture JPEG. Um, like the complete redubs an interesting idea. But it, it brings up the thought for me of like. At the minute, I would rather do the original Crisis Core just so we can have George Newburn as Sephiroth. Like the new guy, there's not really anything wrong with him, but I really like George Newburn as Sephiroth. New Zack is feeling weird. Yeah, that's fair. Taking your boat. Like, he's good for the new guy. It's, it's the guy who's playing Superman in the CW series. Uh, Tyler... Oh, Eklin or something? I don't know how you pronounce it. But I know who it is. Uh, he's the one playing Sephiroth, and it's good for him that he'll get to... Like, play a Sephiroth with a little more depth. Because that is one of the main things Crisis Core really adds, depth to Sephiroth. I, I'm going to stick with George Newburn for a while. Plus, then I won't have to buy it again as well. Oh no, my head. Yeah. <clears throat> No. <clears throat> I 
I'll be seeing you later. How dare you not crouch under that bridge? See, it's an interesting thing you bring up because I would not ask which you would prefer for a wife. That's racist. <clears throat> yeah, like Crisis Core. It's nice that it's getting some kind of re release. And that Square's doing more with it than they did with Type Zero HD. I need to get around to doing Type Zero at some point, and I'm still torn about whether or not I'll do the original PSP version. Or. Um. HD version, because I do have both. <coughs> Moonberry! You have enough to level anybody up. All the special moves. Claim you're lying to me because it wasn't released on the Xbox 360. <clears throat> yeah, I've heard the gameplay of Type Zero is fantastic. Like, I'm absolutely down to play it. I've heard the dubbing is particularly bad. And beyond that, like, the upscaling is very inconsistent. Yes, yeah, so we're finally doing something with Crisis Cores now. Really liked it. Yeah, I think you probably meant Xbox One. But you know me, like knowing versions of things. Yeah, I'll, I'll get to Type Zero eventually. I'm interested enough in it. Am I doing Vampire before Crisis Core? Just forgot which Xbox variant it was. To be fair, like, Xbox 360 is the most standout name of them. The rest of them are just ridiculous. Like, Xbox One was always dumb. <clears throat> An Xbox Series? <laughs> That's a good one. <clears throat> they should have kept, like, Scarlet. Like, the prototype name for the Xbox series. Um, Project Scarlet. It should have just been called, like, Xbox Scarlet. That would have been a cool name. <coughs> but that is all the chests in Yafutoba. We are currently Vice the Daring. Yeah, sure, what do you got? 
Nothing I can afford. Imagine a red X. <coughs> but seriously, like, Xbox Scarlet was a good name. That's a good thing, and it's very cheap. <coughs> Can't get any of them now, though. Now nobody will take me down. underwater sections so you know what that means slow movement let me see <clears throat> there's one moonfish in Mount Kazan and two chests The name like Blueheim, you can probably figure out what it is. The Blue Gigas. We're inside a JPEG now. Oh no. Actually a fair point, none of the ones we face so far could fly. We've only faced two. <coughs> uh Recumen and Grendel. Alright, let's do this. Okay, so I can stream for probably like another three and a half hours. This dungeon should not take that long. <coughs> I'm sorry, what was that? Ouch! There's nothing over here. 